Hello, welcome back to Vicki's Country Home. Well, it's the day after Christmas, and I just got through with my live stream, if you want to watch that. That was really fun, and I, I hope you joined me, and I love all of you, and I love your support. So, one of the reasons that I made that is just to come on and thank you for being there and participating and comments and love that you show. So thank you for that and I hope you watch the live stream. So tonight I'm going to use up some of my leftover ham. I made the most wonderful ham <laughs> and I didn't make a video. Sorry guys, it was Christmas. But I made a pineapple brown sugar bourbon glaze for the ham and the bourbon cooks off so those of you worried about that but the flavor was wonderful so I may try and make a video on that later maybe for New Year's we'll see but it was wonderful so now I have a bunch of leftover ham and yeah we could just heat this up and have it for dinner but you know what I wanted to do something a little bit different tonight so I'm making up a casserole <laughs> and I've never made this before so we're gonna experiment together and hopefully it's gonna come out well but I'm not making any promises because y'all know how I like to do that but it's pretty simple I've let me change the camera so you can see and I'll show you how I'm gonna put this thing together so hang on we'll be right back all right I've got it all prepped so there's not a whole lot to this I have mostly quartered some creamer little gold potatoes some of them a few more just trying to get them kind of the same size so I'm just gonna put those in my casserole dish just kind of break them up and we're going to add a little bit of olive oil and I'm just going to stir that up just to coat the potatoes because I want them to brown nicely. I'm gonna, and I normally don't use the mixes or I make my own, but I don't have any made up. So I'm gonna add just, not the full packet, just a little bit of ranch dressing mix. Maybe half. And then we're going to use a little bit of onion soup mix. We want to kind of mix that one up. Again, we're not using the whole packet. This isn't big enough for that. So again, maybe half of that. And we're just going to give it a stir. Now I'm going to cover this and put this in the oven maybe half hour just to get the potatoes partially cooked. I've got the oven at 350 so I'll come back when I pull it out and we finish this thing up. Alright, this took about 45 minutes. I wanted these potatoes to be mostly cooked. There goes run away. It smells good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add about two tablespoons of butter. And I'm just going to melt this. But you know what? Why do I need to melt it? Because these are really hot. So I'm just going to stir that in. And the butter is just to give it that creamy 
buttery taste too. So we're just going to mix that up a little. And you can use russet potatoes in this if that's what you have. I had these little creamers and I love the gold potatoes so that's what I used. Now I've just chopped up some of the leftover ham into just little chunks. There's no particular size and no particular amount. Just add what you like. Add what you have. We're just going to stir that in. Add a little fresh ground black pepper and a little bit of cheddar cheese. I'm not going to put a lot in this part. Mostly I just want to give it a little bit. And we'll save the rest. So we'll just stir that in. And we'll put this back in there in the oven. Oh, 10 to 15 minutes. What I want it to do is for the potatoes to start to brown just a little bit. So I'm gonna stick this back in the oven and we'll come back in just a few. This smells amazing. Okay, now for the last step. So these have just browned slightly, but everything is nice and hot. So what are we going to do? Add a bunch more cheese to the top. Because why not? We're still in the holidays. Doesn't count. All right. Isn't that beautiful? And now, because Shana and I decided it just needed a little more, we have bacon. Because, why not? You've got to have some bacon. Even if it is ham. So, I'm going to put this back in the oven. Let all this cheese melt and get all nice and toasty. And then we're going to come back and we're going to give it a taste. Okay, here it is. My Vicky's leftover ham surprise. So we'll see how it came out. It looks good and it smells good. But we're about to find out. Be sure and get the bacon because you've got to have plenty of bacon. Okay, there it is. Now, let me change the camera and we'll take a bite. And this is my leftover loaded green bean casserole, so that makes it healthy, right? Here we go. And we want to get a little bit of everything on there, and it's hot. Okay, I approve. <laughs> this is good. I like it. So, another way to use your leftover ham Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share, and hit your little notification bell so you know when I'm going to go live or upload a video. God bless, and we'll talk again soon.